Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kaiser Redux, where today I decided to play Ukraine and just, well, have some fun with it, you know, just do the greater Ukraine focus Tinky Majinky, which I think is available to no Ukraine no matter what path you choose, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna try to break free and then we can actually start doing fun stuff, because if we don't, I don't know, we're always just gonna be a German puppet. Oof, Black Monday has just hit us, this ain't gonna be a fun one, will it? So, I guess we'll just try to recover from it, which should be somewhat soon, I think. I haven't played Ukraine before, so... <laughs> yeah, we will focus on the Hitman, and we'll see what happens from this. I'm pretty sure doing him will let us become free, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna focus on recovering from Black Monday first, then we're gonna do the political stuff. You know, I will try and risk it and threaten Galicia Ledomeria, and see what happens from it. I think we should be A-OK, -okay, but I'm not sure. Also, I'm going to cancel the training of these troops. So maybe we can reinforce the Volinia garrison, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's nationalize the Poissische Ostbahn. <laughs> Hold up. Poland and Germany are at war? Ooh, don't mind me if I use that. Yeah, Germany, sure. We will join you and attack Poland from the east. I guess we're just going to walk into Warsaw. Oh well. Now we'll take Chalm and a few more stuff, but I don't think we'll get much more from it. Let's go, we're able to take Poland. Well, I wonder what's next for our conquests. Well, we could liberate them. I'm just gonna keep a military occupation over them. Ah, we don't need Austria's assistance in it. We just need to do some surveying and realize that I don't even know what happened, I was FK. Yeah, I'm gonna sign the Cuban-Ukrainian conventions, because we can then just annex them and get Cuban for ourselves, really. We got the Grim Eminence, and now we're just gonna go down the path of it, so we can get some economic buffs. So we can maybe finally end the Black Monday. Oh boy, we can start unifying with Cuban, and I think next we'll be able to finally end Black Monday, I hope. We can finally annex Kuban, which comes in time because Russia is eyeing it, so we're nice. Hey, we just got Kuban as well in the annexation deal, and I'm gonna, well, use this to our advantage. We are slowly but surely reforming the nation, industrializing it, and once we are done with it, we will start expanding, which should be very soon. Oh no, it seems that Russia wants to fight Finland. We all know how that will go, don't we? Now let's just complete the land reform. I think it should be more than successful since I did get the everything way way up, so we should be good. Yo, what is Czechoslovakia on? Like whatever they having, I want. Guys, I think it's time for us to claim Ukrainian Galicia with She's West Ukraine because, yeah, Austria-Hungary ain't doing so well, is it? Oh no, we're at war with West Ukraine. What will we do? <laughs> Yay, we have already taken Lvov and soon we'll take Stanislavo. And just like this, we have unified with West Ukraine through, well, force. Now, I will start preparing for war with Russia, since Romania, Serbia and Bulgaria are also in the Russian faction and we... Kinda need land from all of them, so... Taking on Russia seems the next logical step, doesn't it? Oh boy, France declared war on Germany. Well, World War II it is. It seems that the Germans will hold the line well enough on their own, so I'm just gonna focus on preparing for the war with Russia and their allies, and... Yeah, I think that's all we can do now. Okay, the Russians decided that it's the perfect time for them to declare war on the... Reichspakt, so we're at war with Russia now. I wasn't really pre well prepared for it, expecting it rather, because I am prepared for it, so let's just go on the offensive and beat them back a bit. Fun fact, we are already pushing kinda well into Romania, I do plan on taking them out fast and then focusing all of our efforts on Russia while in Russia, realistically I just wanna take Rostov so we have our lands connected. Hey, we actually did it. Rostov is ours, and so our offensive can stop for a while, and we can focus on getting the equipment. You might be wondering, huh, how did you get into minus 32,000 infantry equipment? Well, I expanded the, my division 
just a second before war started, so yeah. Okay, the Romanians have decided that they don't need any troops on our border, so let's use that to our advantage as much as possible. <laughs> Since Romania has capitulated, I will focus our efforts next on capitulating Bulgaria and Serbia. I feel like all we really need to do now is just go on a giant offensive, because their troops are mainly in Russia, I have noticed. Like, both Serbia Rom and Romania, well, also Bulgaria, I guess, have a lot of their units in Russia fighting the Japanese. That's Bulgaria done, and the only one that's remaining is Serbia. I'm pretty sure only Belgrade has to fall for Serbia to capitulate and then we can put all of our effort into capitulating Russia. Now, while we are in the neighborhood of the Balkans and this whole general area, let's declare war on Galicia Ludmira as well. You guys think the same salient I am? Because I think that spells a nice little encirclement we can complete here. Oh no, it's the war nobody wanted to see. Czechia versus Slovakia. Yay, we gave it another go. And thus we have encircled around 10 divisions from the Russian bloc. Boys, let's attack Galicia Lumiria. We don't need to call in our allies and just, well, subjugate them in a few ticks. And just like this, we add another new part of the empire. Meanwhile, Germany is not doing so well, so I'm just gonna deploy this small army here so they can protect the Rhineland at least somewhat. And we'll probably start focusing a bit more on pushing into Russia soon. Wait, we can't even... Bruh... <laughs> okay. I'm going to start pushing into Russia by closing in small pockets of their units and just wiping them out. Okay, fun fact, Georgia just lost their war against Russia, whatever they had with Russia, and now we have to bring in the 24 divisions meant to help Germany <laughs> to close up the pocket. I have decided that we will focus on helping our Reichspakt co-belligerents and try to liberate Belarus, Lithuania and the United Baltic Duchy before we launch an all-out assault into Russia, which honestly we could try and do soonish because their troops are pretty widely spread right now. Yo, Austria decided to join the war against the socialists, not against Russia though, so... But beggars can be chosen. Boys, we have almost liberated the Baltics and now we can prepare for an all-out invasion of Russia. Okay, let's attack the Russians now since we have retaken most of the our allies land and just try to capitulate them as soon as possible because the Germans, they're not having a good time in Europe. Oh, I didn't even realize it, but we have taken St. Petersburg, which is the Russian capital, but that doesn't matter since Russia is huge and they have way more victory points that we have to take. We are slowly liberating Finland by force. And if we do that successfully, we can just destroy Russia. Like, I'm kinda... <laughs> I don't know what to do with Russia. Hey, we just got Finland to capitulate. Well, in the meantime, Valonia has capitulated on the Western Front. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Looking at the front line with Russia, it seems that it is rather lacking in divisions and there are a good amount of pockets, so I think I'll just launch an all-out offensive into Russia itself and just hope that it succeeds wildly and capitulates them. Yay! We're just about to enter Moscow and oh, never mind. We're about to defeat the Russians in the Caucasus and then just drive them back all the way to Yekaterinburg. I hope. <laughs> we will regroup now and prepare for a massive offensive, hopefully getting a few encirclements in and then just capitulating them. I know I have said that word a lot, but this time I really mean it, like for real bros, trust me. Another all out offensive? Don't mind if I do. We are trying for the final push against the Russians, but I don't think taking Ekaterinburg will be enough for them to capitulate. I think we'll need to go way, way deeper, hopefully not to Vladivostok. Guess what, boys? I was correct! We'll need to take Vladivostok as well! Yay! Boys, it's so over. I, I don't know how we can make a comeback here. Like, I'll try to spam as many divisions as possible just to defend the Western Front, but I don't really have a plan now, do I? Boys, don't worry. The Ottomans have decided they want to be at war with the Russians because they declared, decided to declare war on Armenia because we all know that's good old uh, Turkish tradition. Okay, we have almost retaken what we have lost in Russia, but 
The Western Front is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> hey, Finland has capitulated. Again. <laughs> now that we have uh, fixed the Northern fiasco, we can focus on pushing into Russia once more and try to beat them. Okay, Russia is only three points away and if we are actually able to beat them, we can... <laughs> I think we can just rush to the Western Front because Austria will collapse any minute now. Okay, I hope Tashkenet counts. <gasps> it does! Finally, let's go! <laughs> ah yes, a very glorious peace deal I must, day, must say. And we can redeploy our troops just in time to make a co massive counteroffensive against the French. Let's go! Oh boy, it's Paris against Moscow because, well, Moscow is our puppet. <laughs> Now let's do an offensive against the third international. I think in at least Galicia we should be successful since we have a major air force advantage. But once we get to Poland, like we just need to get to Eastern Germany because there we can have a giant air battle. Also with all the decisions made, you can see our final state of Ukraine is this. We have released Russia, also green Ukraine, because why? what's better than one Ukraine to Ukraines? Mongolia, Manchuria, China. Finland, and, well, Bulgaria, Serbia, and Romania. Oh yeah, the offensive is going very well. And if we're lucky, we might be able to just push all the way to Paris. <laughs> Boys, we're starting to enter core German territory. And with it, the third international's days are numbered. So, Loki just between us, boys. I am Loki tempted to just let Austria capitulate so we can feed our allies their land. Hey, we're almost at Berlin already, and our offensive is going well. I do hope Austria loses though, because, eh. I love the fact that the Pope got to keep his territory, even though the socialists have occupied the rest of Italy. We are slowly but surely liberating Germany, I guess. Like, I don't know what else to call it, to be honest. Hey, the Germans have capitulated for like the second time this game. <laughs> Okay, let's capitulate the Netherlands now and then move into Belgium and take over France. Sadly, our plan for Austria to capitulate won't come to fruition because we're just too successful on our Western Front. Okay, let's go. Belgium has capitulated and we're almost at the borders that were before the war started. So, yeah, we're doing well. Oh, we might be able to push towards Paris somewhat soonish. Because their northern part is very poorly defended, I must say. Oh, we're out of, like, right at the gates of Paris. I'm going to go around it a bit or try to just make it easier to take, okay? Oh, the Battle of Paris was not eventful. They just pop and it was over. I'm pretty sure France is about to fall any minute now. Or at least it won't take much more to capitulate them. So all we need to defeat now is Italy and Britain. Yeah, the third international is slowly collapsing now, so I want to say we have done absolutely amazingly. Hey, France has just capitulated, which only leaves Italy and Britain. That's Switzerland gone, and we just need to capitulate Italy, I think, for in order for us to just, well, really defeat their mainland Europe thingy, yeah. Oh yeah, the Italians are not in for a good time, I can tell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Italians have been beaten back at least, but yeah. <laughs> Just as I was saying, they capitulate. Well, now only we need to capitulate Britain, which I'm thinking about paratroopers, you know. Now that we have defeated the third international on the continent, we just need to defeat Britain. Boys, our paratrooper divisions are being trained. And if we're lucky, we'll be landing in Britain in like a few days. Well, months. Yeah, for some reason, we can't do an air invasion, the paratrooper drop. So we're just gonna do a good old naval invasion. Oh damn, Canada decided to launch an invasion and actually do something. Wait, do we have a military access agreement with them? Oh boy, I just can't wait for all of our troops to flood Britain and win the war for us. So London has fallen and we are slowly making headway into the British Isles. And just like this, we have beaten the third international. Now it's time for us to take most of the territory. 
As you can tell from the peace deal, we have taken most of the territory, with the exception of Lyon and a few others. Next, well, next, now, I'm planning on attacking Czechoslovakia and then Austria. Now that Europe has been reshaped in the vision of Ukraine, we will, well, declare war on Czechoslovakia and Austria and realistically control all of Europe. That's the Manzaker. Patia from the Czechoslovaks and see what happens. Also, I'll start justifying on Austria. Oh damn, the Czechoslovaks actually gave in and let their territory go. Now, let's declare war on Austria and call of our allies in which is basically all of Europe, isn't it, at this point? Oh, they don't even have that many troops on our border. I guess we're just gonna walk to Budapest and Vienna. This war will be over very quickly, I must say. <laughs> We're sieging Vienna and it should fall fairly soonish and thus end the war with the Austrians. With this, I will end the video since we have achieved everything pretty much. As you can see, Europe is Ukraine here now. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you had fun watching it. Otherwise, I wish you a very nice rest of your day. And until next time, bye bye.